Hello Lakeshore family. I hope you're having a good week. Um, a couple of weeks ago, a wonderful group of volunteers uh, helped lead during our kids camp. And it was such a great time, um, especially during the worship time and the Bible study time. But I wanted to share with you an illustration um, that I used during our worship time. Not only is it good for kids, it's good for us as adults as well. In Romans 12, 2, um, Paul says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So the example that I used um, was one of a toothpaste. But for today's sake, I'm going to use lotion. So <clears throat> uh, lotion and a balloon. Um <laughs> What happens when you squeeze out this tube of lotion? The lotion comes out, um, but I'm not so interested in the lotion today as I am the tube. Do you notice that when you squeeze the tube, it takes the shape um, of whatever's on the outside? And eventually, if you squeeze from the outside, it ends up empty with nothing in it. This balloon, though, is completely opposite than the toothpaste or the, the lotion tube. So before it, the balloon was empty. It had no shape at all. Um, it was pretty small. But if I blow into it from the outside, uh, it takes a new shape from the inside out. And it will hold that shape if there's air in it. Of course, you know what happens when you let our air go. Think about our tube. What happens when you squeeze it? It takes the shape of whatever pressure is applied to it. Think about yourself. We allow ourselves to be open uh, to the pressure of the world. We allow ourselves to be um, uh, to to be encouraged to do things that we know we shouldn't do. Um, the world changes definition of truth. It encourages us to pursue flesh um, and preference instead of worshiping the true Holy Spirit. And when Paul tells us not to conform to the world, he says, don't let the world have that influence over you. In fact, right after he says, don't do this, he tells you to do something totally different. He says to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So think about our balloon. When we let Jesus come in, and fill up our life, we're allowing him to change us from the inside out. We're letting him change us into something different, um, so much so that others are going to notice. <clears throat> we abide in him. We know truth. We pursue his presence and true worship. Um, but to be totally transformed, we must continually absorb God's word and hide it in our heart. So I want you to think about this um, as I challenge you this Friday, are you a tube of lotion or are you a balloon? I hope that you're a balloon. Uh, we will uh, see you on Sunday and have a great weekend.